We join the Super Legit crew before the show as Steven distracts our guests on camera. I feel bad you're losing that battle with the pillow. I think you put <laughs> this is going on for six minutes. pillows behind you. I can't imagine. I keep forgetting you, you guys can there. see me. It's because there's like I'm a like, black just, hole. He's just the pillows dropping. just keep falling I'm, and falling. I'm, I'm, pillows behind him. It's the same pillow. It's the same pillow over and over again. Uh, uh. <laughs> is it just like a nervous tick? No, I'm I'm on the just couch. Fidgeting? I'm on the couch as opposed to like usually, you know, in, uh, so I'm in the living room and this is a very comfortable couch if you're sitting back, but I don't want to be like away from the microphone. So I'm like dropping pillows behind me to try to give myself some sort of lumbar support because I'm, I'm, I'm at the age now where I went to urgent care today because I pulled a muscle Ooh. and I was like, Ooh. let me make sure. I, I don't know if I pulled a muscle, but I, I pulled right. something and I was like, the muscle is whatever's hurting is in my chest. I'm going to go to right. urgent care to make oh, sure it's Jesus. not a heart attack. Yes, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. Because a very wise man told me, don't be polite <laughs> when you think you're having a heart attack. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that man was having a heart attack. Yes. Right? yes. <laughs> and that man was Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could have stopped at, I'm at that age now. And I would have said, yep, me too. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. <laughs> what I'm yeah. After that. <laughs> episode of the super legit podcast i am your host jet kaufman and we have once again wonderful people surrounding me let me uh, let me read off real quick who i am looking at on my screen we've got josh spence hello steven c james this is the sound of not my voice chris sanders hello chris compton <laughs> hola <laughs> jen burton hey and the return of my co-host, Michael Hyman. Hey, Michael. Boo. Hey, Jen. Hey, hey, Josh. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. Well, Thanks the rest of the us warm missed you, return. Michael Welcome. Hyman. Thank you. Yes. I'm very happy to be here. Ah, oh, so glad you've got this covered. Uh, why don't you tell us who our special guests are this week? I hear they're returning champions. Yes, we have two returning champions this week. We have a returning champion, Roland Lopez. Welcome. I was promised ice cream. <laughs> you know what, Roland? If you turn around, go to your kitchen, open uh -huh. your freezer, it might be there. That that's how you always get me on these things. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Thank you we for having me back again. Provided. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, thank you for having me back. Yeah, man. And we also have returning champion Chris Thompson. Hey, hey. True story. <laughs> I had no uh, bits. That's it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I. No, this is our co-host. This is I, I had laryngitis for three days up until this. Oh my god! So oh, wow! I oh. had, but not like full voiceless laryngitis. It was the like sultry, smoky voice, no. and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be so good for the podcast." Oh, yes. <laughs> and then I woke up this morning feeling fine. You know who <laughs> Just, has that sultry voice? Is Michael Hyman. That's why I was actually asking him to do the sound test. Like, you sound, you, you sound thicker, dude. Like, you okay? <laughs> I sound <laughs> thicker. Yeah. No. Yeah. You, 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 know, you really hear that boner. Many huh? things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Your I got voice it. sounds deeper, my man. I'm sorry. Should we leave? <laughs> I <laughs> want some time. Yeah. I got very oh. uncomfortable for a moment. Oh, last episode you wanted to see me and Hyman kiss, and now I, this is yeah. all about you two. I mean, I wasn't even there. Kind of I know we already started recording, and we can cut this, but I would like to bring back my thought about a super legit HR department. I mean, I know I keep bringing it up. <laughs> I run it. I run the HR department. What that do you is want? the problem. Yeah, it yeah. does yeah. seem who, since who you're HR the is the you. HR. Wanted the kissing and talking quiet, about Jen, thicker. You were saying <laughs> <laughs> I think HR that is the is, closest person who will listen. <laughs> that is one of Josh's favorite compliments for just about any anybody is their thickness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with with two C's, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was legitimately concerned for Michael. I'm sorry. I take it back. <laughs> so you were concerned because you, you thought he sounded perhaps too thick. 
Mm. Too thick? Yeah. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I I guess voice is thicker now. doesn't sound like a concerned comment. <laughs> yeah. It sounds more exploratory in nature. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's just not call it vocal girth. Oh. <laughs> no. Now we've got. No. I saw vocal far. girth warm up for Rage Against the Machine. They were so, uh, <laughs> so, Michael Hyman, what's our question for this week that Thank we're going to ask our lovely cast and guests that and thick question. with this topic? Well, Jet, I'm so th- thankful that you asked me for the thing that I'm going to ask everyone else. Uh, this week's question <laughs> is brought to you by uh, guest Michael Tozan. Ooh. And the question, yeah, I said Ooh, it right, wee. damn it. Yeah. Uh, the question is, what's the best or worst way that you've tried to pay it forward in life? Hmm. I have a worst. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Oh, You're lay it on the us. Best one. That fits. Uh, so years and years ago, uh, I found a couch on the side of the road when I was living in Glendale. Um. And then when I moved from Glendale to North Hollywood, I took that couch with me. Uh, Same apartment that I live in now for anybody who's been here. Uh, And when we first moved in, we were pretty sparse on furniture. We just had the two couches. Uh, And so we used my living room as an improv rehearsal space. And uh, right after we'd moved in, or like after a couple of, of months of us living in there, uh, we're having an improv rehearsal there. This is when I was uh, with a team at UCB. We had Chad Carter as a coach. And he was sitting on one of the couches. And then he got up and moved to the one that I found on the side of the road in Glendale. And he said, ah, oh, this one's way better. That other couch felt like it was made of hate. <laughs> and so we started calling uh, the, the futon, which he was sitting on, the couch of hate. And then the other couch, the couch of love. And the couch of love... <laughs> was this beautiful fixture in my apartment for many years uh, until I found a better couch on the side of the road because I'm a millennial (laughs) and I didn't spend money on any living room furniture until I was in my mid-30s. And so I found a better couch and I had to put the couch of love out to the curb, which I felt like was paying it forward because... You know, I had found it on the side of the road and it had been Uh good to me for many years. And then I was sort of ushering it along its way. So I took out an ad on the free stuff page on Craigslist. Oh, no. Where I wrote this like epic backstory for the couch of love that it was this. (laughs) It was this. uh, uh, Did you call uh, it couch of love? Oh, I called it the couch of love. Okay, yeah. that's why no one did it. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> that one, that <laughs> I called it the Path of Love, and I was I, I invented this like Jack London esque like vagabond story where it had just been adventuring around Southern California, enriching the lives of those who uh, took it in, and I put this ad up on on uh, Craigslist free stuff. And then the next day I went out to see if anybody had claimed it and some scrap scavengers had come in the night and just butchered it Oh no! because it was a pullout. So it had all kinds of metal bits um, inside. Wow. And so they, they, ch- they like hacked it apart and ripped out anything that was salvageable. Mm. And it's, it's, it's broken. Mm. like savaged carcass was sitting on my front lawn <laughs> and I had to like shamefully take the the pieces, the broken pieces of it mm-hmm. into my garage and into the dumpster uh, because it would, it had just been brutalized in the night. And I felt so bad because I had ascribed this like character to it. And it was, you, you named it. <sighs> well, I named yeah. it. You're not yeah. supposed to name it. Well, what if it was people <laughs> responding to your Facebook post who just yep. wanted there to be less love in the world? We'll show you yeah. a yeah. of love. Mm-hmm. Or who, who had experienced love and decided to literally put that into. Super. Hey, uh, hey, babe. Um, I've been thinking. What's up, hon? I've been thinking uh, 
you know how we love Timmy so much? Oh yeah, of course we love Timmy. Such a such a good kid. He's given us yeah. He's given us so much love and joy mm-hmm. over these, Thanks, these six years that we've had him. Uh huh. I was just thinking, you know, maybe somebody else deserves the love of Timmy. Huh? I've often thought the same thing. You know, mm-hmm. it's that feeling where it's just like my heart is so enriched and so full. Awesome. Yes. What if I were to let that overflow into somebody mm-hmm. else's life by pushing Timmy uh, out of the nest, so to speak? Nope. Yes. Uh, or question? literally. Uh, I, yeah. No. I, no. Uh, all right. So it, it's what I'm thinking is uh, mm-hmm. maybe we. Uh, God, I feel like. Uh, hmm. I feel like just in this political climate, and, selling yeah. uh, a person is is not appropriate. But maybe definitely not appropriate. Giving giving him away. No, like a donation. No, no. Like a you know, they've got those little free oh. libraries. Oh. Hold on, let me uh, let me get this. Okay. Yeah, get that, please. He- hello, hi, yeah. uh, I'm David. This is my wife Annie. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, David, we're Annie, uh, hi. responding to the ad. Uh, you're giving away a. It says here, uh, the best boy you'll ever have, Timmy. Yeah, I've been typing on my phone this whole time, hon. Timothy oh of love, God. mind you. This are we the first I ones? Love you, sweetheart. You are yeah, so ahead of the game. Yeah, we wanted to jump on this as quickly. We just happened we to be in the neighborhood. We saw the ad, and we just, yeah. we just jumped in. Okay. Oh, well, this, you know, this, um, this is our little Timmy, yeah. Yeah, come on in. Nope. You know, let's yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, gather up. Wow. Say hello, oh. Timmy. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to learn. Is, I'm sorry. Sorry for the stains on the couch. We got this couch. Uh, uh, it, it was it was handed yeah, down. Is it okay to sit us. on this? No, please, please. It's okay. a it's it's a wonderful oh, really? couch. We got it. Oh, it actually it? feels nice. Yeah, nope. that's yeah. my bed, but that's fine. My strangers, okay. but yeah. Do you have any yeah. pillows I can use for the lumbar support? I... Ooh, uh, uh, yeah, he's here, got a bad just back. drop these. Just drop back. these behind your back. Lean oh, back into you. the couch. You don't want to oh, lean forward. Okay, Let me put yes, one back yes. there for you. Yeah, I got it. Okay, All thanks. Right. Is that good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Thanks. Is there any chance, it's very mm-hmm. difficult for him to find a couch that works with his back. Is there any uh-huh. chance that you would be willing to throw on the couch with the boy? Oh, oh God, so no, smart. we love this couch too much. No. Yeah. Baby, Wait, baby we can never do it. What? Oh. That's my uh, bed. Oh. Hold on. There's uh, someone else at the door. <clears throat> Hello? Come on in. Hey, hey I'm, I'm responding to the Craigslist ad about the boy. No, no, no. no. Oh hi! Oh wow! Hey. This is wonderful. Oh. So much, so much attention. Yeah, no, I'm already. sorry. We were here first. Oh, oh, hold oh. on. It doesn't necessarily work that way. Is this? Well, the boy is free. No, please please just, have a seat. Have a seat on the couch. Have a here. Just, about the boy. Uh, uh, if you could scoot uh, down, I'll move over. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and have sure. A seat. Ask I'll away. Ask really away. Enough room for all three of us. Does he have all of his? He has all his original organs, right? All well, yeah. He doesn't have his tonsils anymore. He right. doesn't have his tonsils right. oh, anymore. Good, good yeah. catch. Yes, I hadn't thought about those oh, okay. organs. Tonsils are pending. Enough, 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 enough. Mom, mom but, dad, can I, can I talk mm-hmm. to you in the other room, please? Oh, okay. I mean, well, just I guess we are quick. still technically uh, your mom and dad. Kind of rude I, I, to leave okay. our guests here. Okay, can you two? Here, okay, fine. Hang on it's just okay. a second. It's You'll just fine. Check the fridge. There's drinks in there. Take anything you want from the fridge, please. I actually made a plate of canapes, so I'll set this down here. Oh my oh, gosh! Look she at makes that. wonderful Bacon canapes. wrapped as Annie, I've been asking you to make these. All just, right. just T- a quick Timmy, second. Timmy, what, so, what, what do you need, what, Timmy? What? 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 Two mm-hmm. things. One. Yes. I'm tw- I'm 28 years old. You can stop calling me your kid. And I thought you were 26, two, but okay. Two. Why does that biker have such a thick voice? That's not cool. Well, it's probably road it's grit, cool. son. And if yeah. you want to find out. Then you I don't should go, go back in no, there no, no. I, and see if you go. can ride with him. I want to stay yeah. here. If this Get is about paying him. more rent, I'll pay more rent. If it's about doing more chores, uh, Honestly, I'll do more chores. We don't he looks yeah. like he's lived kind Timothy of a hard of life. And if anybody needs more love, it's someone like that. I'm honestly leaning on him against the, the couple who honestly looks quite happy and content. If there's anything we've always said about Timothy you, Timmy, love. it's that your voice is too thin. Mm-hmm. It's all high and reedy. It's got that like... Tenery, like, uh, like, um, uh, oh, who's that one singer? Not Tom Jones. He's too sexy. You know, we'll talk about this what? later after he has a new home. It's a Clay Aiken kind of thing, maybe? Yes. I don't know. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. my God. You finished my sentences. I love you so much. Meanwhile, in the other room. So what are you guys in here for? Kidneys? Livers? What's your game? We just want we, the best boy in the world. We want to love a child. Yeah. Like, a 20 20- Six Eight, to twenty-eight year six, old six, man. Yeah, the whole Someone child. Close. How much? Maybe we can. Maybe we can strike a deal here. 
And this afternoon on Judge Joe Brown, we're settling the case of the best boy in the world. All right, can we have our uh, our, our two uh, plaintiffs up? Uh, hi. Hey. All right, so, so you two, as a, as a couple, you, you say you're here because you want to give this boy a loving home. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, great. And, and you there, you say you uh, want to uh, have this boy to be able to do a great service for many people. Oh, 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 absolutely, sir. Hey, uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think that this, this boy could probably make one, at least six people very, very happy. Your Honor, may, may I say something? Of, of course, of course. Uh, we have a receipt for the boy. <laughs> mm. Can you bring that up there, please? Uh, am I allowed uh, to come up you. all the I, way? I, I got you, Judge. Okay, uh, uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know if I was supposed to. You go ahead and take no, it? No, yeah, that's why I'm here. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, please, I don't get that much attention. Do you enjoy this That's job? a union job, and you're not a member of the union, so you shouldn't be doing his job. Thank you yeah. so much, man. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I do enjoy this job. Thank you for asking. It's complicated. People don't, tough don't ask job. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it is. I have to bring stuff from you or whoever else might be here on the day to judge it's just that that four feet yeah yeah and then often i will when if if the judge isn't in the room yet and he's about to come into the room mm -hmm. i'll let you know that he's coming in because i'll like you did earlier yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah i feel like i could have just crumpled it up into a ball and thrown it to the judge at this point and the judge would have had it thank you for coming in uh to the casting office today mr kaufman uh today you're going to just be doing the part of bailiff Okay, bailiff. bailiff. You just stand. Okay. Nope. See, you don't even need to talk. You just stand there, and uh, you grab things that. The, Sorry, uh, the... I, I just wanted to clarify though. Is Liff yep. his last name? Bailiff. Is that? Uh, I, I just I make I want to make sure I understand. Like what 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 uh what country does uh does the last name Liff come from? I want to make sure I have this character's uh, background story right. You know, it does it does it could be whatever you ascribe it to in your own huh. head. All we need you okay. to do for this show is vaguely that's Scandinavian, is what I'm thinking. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm just trying to set up a, a place. Okay, all right. Sorry, go, go, please. Look, okay. I'm going to be honest. Uh, you're la, in this la, room la, just la, based la, as a la, favor la. to Derek mm -hmm. Miller. The I don't need any of your like Shakespearean acting or any of your dramatic improv. Oh, that's monologues. good. I've never done Shakespeare. Oh, great. So the dramatic improv monologues is a lie too. You don't do that. And that's how the media oftentimes just gets the bailiff role wrong. They just don't know what they're doing. I remember anyway, that show. Yeah, yeah, I've been going on for a long time. Here you go, Judge. Here's the receipt. Oof, that, Thank you. All right, let's see. I've already forgotten why I'm here. <laughs> well, you got time and date stamp on there. Yeah. Uh, and there's a notary card. signature. Yeah, yeah right, notarized. notarized. Mm -hmm. I see. It's, it has, has all the whole backstory here. So you found... Uh, Looks Sorry, like I also stapled. I also stapled a receipt for our lunch. I don't know if that's relevant, but we were eating that when we found when we read the, uh, the posting about the free boy. It's so. technically part of court costs, so yes, yes, okay, okay, that, is, that is very relevant. Here, it looks like I had you a had, Waldorf salad. Yeah, uh, uh, a Waldorf salad. Yeah, uh, and ma'am, you had uh, looks like a blat, uh, which is a BLT with avocado in exactly. it. Exactly. Uh, okay. she, loves, she really loves avocado. I don't I know do. why. I, I do. Like he loves a Waldorf. We're yeah. match made in heaven. Your Honor, the Honorable Mr. Uh, Mr. Brown. Yes. Yes. Uh, I also have a document that I would like to enter into uh, evidence. Uh, please hand uh, it to my bailiff. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, looks like oh. uh, showtime. Oh. I am uh, handing it to your bailiff now. Wait, I, 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 hang, hang, hang on there. Um, you don't. You don't need to say everything you do. Okay, that's. That's the bailiff's job. That's uh, and television is a visual medium. Everyone can see what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, though, right. though I though to say, uh, 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 Mr. Lip or bailiff, he uh, he does this for accessibility purposes, uh, doing audio descriptions as he says it. You just haven't been the same since you've gotten that bailiff job. <sighs> you're just not the same person anymore. It's you. It's all gone to your head. You're Mr. Yeah. Hollywood now. It hasn't all gone to my head. You can be seated. I'm going <laughs> to continue I live here. making my my tuna melt. Um, and I really didn't need to be interrupted. But if you need something 
uh, taken from one side of the house to the other. I am perfectly capable of, of taking my own things from one side to the other. This is what I'm talking about. You never acted like this before your job. I liked you better when you were a carpenter. Gotcha when he was a carpenter. So yeah, it looks like uh, uh, it looks like we need to get the uh, we need to get the, the the left side of the chair up about three quarters of an inch. I don't know what uh, what do you think, Mikey? Uh, I, oh, I'm I, sorry. I I, so oh, many which Mikey's. Mikey's? Oh, yeah, there's, there's Mikey's several here. Mikey's here. Uh, and there's one that likes to be quiet all the time. I I th- I think it should be up four inches. Uh, that's just what I'm going to weigh in on here, real quick. Hey, sorry. What, hey, what is what is Michael. quiet, Mikey? Sorry, not. Uh, are all the Mikeys getting together? I'm Michael. I forget if I if you included me on this. Um. So, uh, Mr. Pan or or, or Peter, Peter I, I don't know. However, you want to be called. I know that I'm I'm 26 to 28 years old, but like people still view me as a child. So, if you want to just uh, grab my hand, we can. Uh, Put some fair dust on me, and we can just go to Neverland. I'm happy to go. Hey, back off, creep. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. Legit. <laughs> uh, I think, hey, back off, creep, is how a lot of our scenes could end. <laughs> I was watching Hook about 20 minutes before this podcast started. Oh, <laughs> nice. So I'm like, get the hell out of my head. <laughs> oh, that's good. Bangarang. I have a pay it forward kind of. Ooh. It's no, only kind it's, of a pay. Is it's, it kind of or is it really? No, it's really real. Uh, I think okay. it's a pay it forward ish. It pro- might be different than other people's <laughs> stories, but it's close enough. So one time, a long time ago, uh, I was in a parking lot to a grocery store and I used to just carry my wallet in my hand. <laughs> like a weirdo i just had like <laughs> a clutch and you clutched it and it was really dumb because you could mm-hmm. leave it anywhere and um i left it i got it was a very hot day i took the part i was parked very far away i had my groceries and all that crap i walk 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 all the way across the parking lot a million miles put all my groceries away and it was so hot. And I was like, I don't want to bring my cart all the way back to the front. Uh, and I really didn't want to do it. But I was like, nope, it's the right thing to do. Because then some other poor sucker's going to have to come out here and drag this cart across the whole, this like 100 degree day. I'm going to take it back. So I walked all the way back. It was one of those grocery stores that the thing was at the right in front of the store. I go all the way up to the store, leave the cart, go back to my car. I get into my car. And I see, I'm like literally just about to pull out of the driveway. And I see this guy going, hi, hi, like waving his arms, an employee of the grocery store, chased me all the way from the thing because he had found my wallet sitting in the child seat of the cart. (laughs) And he chased me all the way and he was out of breath and he was like, you are out of your wallet. And I was like, thank you so much. And I was like. (laughs) I will never again doubt whether or not it's the right thing to do to bring my cart all the way to the front uh, or, you know, where it needs to. So now that is how I pay mm-hmm. it forward. I always put my cart away. Is that, is that, is that meaningful? Does that give me any brownie <laughs> points for heaven? Well, I love it because my... the, the only reason you're doing it is to protect yourself from it's losing purely, your wallet. So it's, you're right. it's still selfish. But also, but it wasn't You're paying it forward moment. to yourself. <laughs> You're, that's true, but I also felt like it was a sign, like you did the right thing. You need to do this mm-hmm. nice thing all but, the time. Jen, the nice irony of that do. is, you still made a supermarket employee run I all know. the way across yes, the parking yeah. lot in a hundred degree weather. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I, <laughs> one thing you were trying to avoid. I know. Uh, it's true. Maybe the message was you control nothing. <laughs> <laughs> In Jen's defense, she made him run across that parking lot with money in a small clutch, as opposed to having to push a heavy metal iron cage on wheels where one of them is askew. So at least it was easier. It was mildly easier. Oh, he also felt that he did something good for someone, which I'm sure is not what's going through his head every day as he's pushing those cards. He's not like, I just made somebody's day better. Yeah. (laughs) Very true. Look, I've worked it out in my head. It all makes sense up here. Uh, <laughs> I am paying it forward with yeah. this cart situation. Uh, 
the, I, I love the idea of like uh, this being the way that we actually get any kind of social responsibility from anyone, which is the power of superstition. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. do you know if you use your turn signal, you'll win the goddamn lottery? Yep. Uh, That's or it works. <laughs> you'll use yeah. your goddamn turn signal. Hey, I'm Chris, not telling there's you my actually, lucky numbers. There's, got a, there's a better name for that, Chris, because there's also this uh, superstition thing where people are like, hey, if I'm nice to people, when I die, I'll go to the special place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I started has, a podcast. <laughs> has the word special place ever ended uh, anywhere good? Uh, <laughs> well, I think they call it heaven. Oh, okay. In, in right. their superstition system. Yeah. Right. Or it's a much better there's marketing. A of, there's a lot of superstition systems built around this core concept. <laughs> I got one. Uh, I think this is probably one of my uh, finer moments in life. Uh, I was helping a friend. He was filming a short film and uh, he needed like people to do, you know, grunt work for him. So I was doing grunt work. And I guess one of the roles was like this, like angry hobo person. And they're like, we don't have anybody to be like an angry hobo. So I was like, I'll be an angry hobo. They're like, okay. So they gave me like just all this like, you know, like I guess for lack of a better word, hobo clothes to wear. Um, I don't know why it was considered hobo clothes, but the <laughs> the the director was like, yeah, but this person's also crazy. So like wear high heeled shoes and just yell at people. I'm like, uh, OK, so and I have like at the end of the time size 13 feet. So like they've gotten it, bigger or smaller. Huh? Huh? You said back at the then time. they were at the time they were. Yeah, I have size 15, 15 feet now. So, oh, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. you're, I guess your feet grow as you get older. Um, yeah. So I'm wearing these like horrible, falling apart, red heel, high heel shoes. We're in Westwood and we're filming on, oh, on Westwood Boulevard, kind of on the hill part. And uh, my line was I was supposed to like grunt angrily at, at two people walking by while i'm pushing my cart so the director goes action um i do my part rah, 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 rah. and i as i like to do all the time i raise my both of my fists in anger and i forget that i it was on a downhill slope so the cart <laughs> starts going and i go oh shit because it looks like it's going to go into traffic and then if it goes into traffic it's going to hit so i start chasing after uh, this cart in high in heel heels, shoes. No less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I I totally trip and bought the farm and just oh. rolled down the rolled down the hill and oh. uh, I busted my lip and I had to go to the ER. But I caught the you know the that bottom bar that connects the two wheels. Mm. I caught that as the whole cart turned over and like rolled me with it, but. I saved it from hitting three cars. So I saved like a whole bunch of people's lives that day. And that's how I paid it forward. And that's how I'm going to heaven. Um, mm. Josh, tell me they got the shot. They fucking tell got me. the shot. And that, <laughs> I, will ne I have it on a CD somewhere. So I, you, worth it. <laughs> so <laughs> worth it. Because that is, that is method acting right there. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a six foot three, like 300 pound hobo guy in <laughs> red shoes <laughs> rolling down a hill with a cart it's yeah that's i mean that sounds like a movie in itself <laughs> that movie was called toy story 2 <laughs> <laughs> i like that they made you wear heels as a hobo. yeah like that was part of the crazy Cause... person's thing was wearing high I, heels i feel like this being los angeles you would have had a homeless person walk by you and go, you're kind of gilding the lily here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we honestly, get we get it. Yeah. yeah. Being being Los Angeles, I'm surprised that there wasn't someone who came by and was just like, that's cultural appropriation. Right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right. So uh, and to make it worse, it gets better. So uh, I went to the <laughs> ER. I, I got, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. We just got to parse wait, out wait that. I, know. I said, wait, wait. what? So, I, I think that that's <laughs> he said what he said. Book. To, just to make it worse, it gets better. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the title of the book right there. <laughs> and that's my story for sure. Uh, I, I get stitches at like an urgent care. I get six stitches like on my on my lower lip, and he the doc the doctor's like it'll heal up fine. Just like try not to talk, try not to eat, try not to laugh for the next three days. Like those are my three favorite things to do. 
<laughs> so uh, my dad picks me up and he's like, are you, he's freaking out. Yeah. One of the few times like actual care. And uh, I told him, OK, but here's the deal. Uh, I can't talk. I can't eat. And I can't laugh. He's like, oh, hey, I was going to take you out to lunch right now. <laughs> so so uh, we end up going out to lunch and uh, I'm not eating anything. He's just having the fucking <laughs> meal of his life. And he's telling me like the best stories I have ever heard from the man. Uh, so much so that I actually popped a stitch and had to go back and get it fixed. So, uh, yeah, it got better. <laughs> and that's the lesson. It gets better, as they yeah. say. But I saved lives uh, that day. You did. You absolutely did, Josh. You uh, pushed a of... cart downhill and <laughs> kept it yep. from that's killing right. From going in the street. Yeah, man. Yep. What if Speaking I... of saving lives, capitalism. Thank you. Michael Hyman, we have a sponsor. <laughs> I'd love to hear who is sponsoring this week's episode. Oh, we actually yes. have two, but I, I, I want to hear the one that you've brought us first. Well, I've got it right here. It's ready to go. Do you need help negotiating discrepancies and arguments in your relationships, in your home, between your marital parties? Well, turn now to in-law negotiator. They are so nosy. They're going to be in your home all the time. Do you have a guest bedroom? That's where they stay. Do you want them there? They're there because they're helping you. You don't get to choose when that happens. They will root through your medicine cabinet and help you figure out where your arguments are coming from. When are you going to have children? They'll help tell you when you're going to do it. Is that too soon for you? Too bad. They're there to tell you what to do. Do you have a dispute on whether or not you think Lee Harvey Oswald killed JFK? They'll help you figure it out. The answer is yes and no. It's very complicated. We'll never truly know the answer, but they'll help you negotiate the complicated morass of guessing <laughs> and wondering and coming to that conclusion. With in-law negotiator, you'll have someone in your home 24-7 to spark conversations. You may call them arguments. They will ruin your marriage. Call in-law negotiator now. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm still not entirely sure what they're, who's negotiating what in that situation, but they sound want very it, serious about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take two. Of them. Uh, they're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also believe we have another sponsor, kind of a, an unusual situation. We had an unusual one in our last episode. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on here, but, uh, Chris Sanders, I think you might have this one this time for some reason. Um, I, I, don't actually have uh it's a little odd because i think you um got the original like you got an email from yeah yeah the advertiser um right. i don't know who actually got the contract um because this this was actually just a tape that was sent mm. like i didn't actually make this tape it's just uh, it just says play me on it yeah, it's <laughs> weird how these are just like going to different Ooh. members of the team. Okay, all right. Yeah, as so, long as as long as the check cleared, because again, that's that's really our only vetting yeah, process. And they, they it, it was a rather large check again. Wow. So okay, we'll just all play right. the tape. Yeah. Hello, this is Michael Hyman. You might know me as the co-host of Super Legit Podcast, avid Dodgers fan, cat daddy, and one of the world's best improvisers named Michael Hyman. I know I have a 99% audience approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but if I'm being honest with you, I'm a fraud, a derper. I, oh, the English notes. I think he means deeper look inside. Yeah, deeper look inside will reveal that I'm a giant poo poo head, a giant doo doo, uh, doo -doo -poo -poo -head. a giant doo doo head who isn't funny, loves the Dodgers too much, and most importantly, is not cool. <laughs> and I mean like super not cool. I like I prefer Taco Bell over Taco Trucks level of not cool. Like I go to Dodgers games in third inning and leave in seventh. Have I told you I think Dave Grohl sucks? Let's not even get into my Spotify playlist. I'm saying all this because I want you to know that I wouldn't be here without my best friend, Josh Spence. People have tried to kill me in the past, and if it weren't for my best friend, Josh, stepping like Michael Jackson in the Beat It video and having everyone dance instead, I wouldn't be here. And while I'm happy to be the co-host 
of the world-renowned Super Legit podcast, I wanted to be the first to start the Josh Spence Super Legit co-host campaign launch right here and right now. No need to vote or call in if you're listening or have ever listened to the pod. Your vote is implied. Thank you all in advance. And now if we can go back to talking about whatever Josh wants to talk about, that would make my day. Paid for by Hyman Crest Enterprise, a sub... Sidier of Ghost Taco. I don't know if I read that. <laughs> that's I say uh... this is someone who has known Michael Hyman for 16 years. Yeah, that sounds legit. Yeah! <laughs> yes, buddy! Um, hi, no. That sounds eerily similar to the, uh, the email that I got in the previous episode. I um, fucking love this. Mike, did you, you did that, buddy? Uh, that doesn't Thanks, sound like I mean, like, some of it nope, is no. Nope. You said I, we can talk about what I want to talk about next. So, uh, but we, we always talk, talk about, about what you want to talk about. History of the. <laughs> I mean, that's why explorer. the email is accurate. Yes. So I I hate to interrupt, but no, California why? has very strict I, equal time laws. <laughs> uh, oh. So we are required to run an ad unless it's in uh, fucking Russian, Compton. Unless it's in Russian. Well, so the thing is, we don't have an actual script for this ad, but oh, what we do have is a generic political ad that we can just insert you into. We don't. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let me get it started. The history All right. Of the Gibson Explorer. Crime. Homelessness. The <laughs> national debt. Isn't it time that we had an America that was like the America you remember when you were a child, back when things were better, back when you know. So (laughs) it's time we do something. It's time we put God back into our schools. It's time we put God back into our institutions. It's time we put God back on the dollar bill, though he's there, but make sure he stays there. And when time we put God back into the pledge after taking him out and then putting him in and then putting him back in. So the point is, this November, the future of our society is up to you. The future of our culture is up to you. Get it? You know, you know what I'm saying, right? The future of <laughs> our culture is up to you. And that's why on November 8th, I'm asking you to not let Josh be (laughs) (laughs) co-host. Yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Well, I'll buy two of those as well. That's pretty compelling. Equal time. Wow. Yeah. No, I I I think it's smart. Um, Ooh. Wow. I don't know. uh, I don't know who's who's uh, paying for these ads, but they're lucrative. So we'll run them as long as the check's clear. Yeah, I guess. You know, right. I haven't thought about it until just now. How many times God shows up in the Pledge of Allegiance? Mm-hmm. Too many. I mean, yeah, once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just just the once. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, one that's enough. But one there's time like too six many. six or seven under gods in there. Just to... And I mean, I think he is technically responsible for the Purple's Mountain Majesty. So, uh, <laughs> it, it says Purple's Mountain Majesty. In the Purple's <laughs> yeah, in the Pledge. That's right. <laughs> That's sort of like patriotism's Boschetti. Uh, <laughs> so, Jet, what was the question of the week again? I don't know. Let's ask our co-host, Michael. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you want, if you want to repeat, it is what's the best or worst With the way accent, that you tried please. to pay it? Oh, what's the best or worst way that you've tried to pay it forward in life? <laughs> Authentic. Uh, <laughs> dead on. Oh God, maybe that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I, okay, I've thickens. got, uh, this is actually fairly recent and I, I don't know if this is cause I feel it's like every pay it forward story we have comes from us actually paying it back or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, like it's like, I, 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 but anyway, I, um, had to move things out of, a a, um, a storage locker and it was all this furniture and I was, I, I had a friend who was helping and they backed out at the last minute. So I hired someone through you know, some Uber version of like getting someone to help you. And it was uh, some guy, literally half my age, who was able to help me move all this furniture and we got it all. And I said, hey, look, I'm, I was going to drop most of this off at the at the uh, the dump. I know we didn't, you know, we didn't plan on this before and this was part of the agreement, but if I pay you extra, will you come and help me out with it? They said, of course. So, 
you know, here we are in the U-Haul driving all the way to Calabasas, I think, or somewhere to go to this. And we dropped all the furniture off. And I, I, I he was, he was asking me all these questions because I was twice his age. And he was literally like asking me all these questions about life and what would you do? What's the big lessons you learned? And I felt like- I do not know if a woman likes you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Uh, and, What's uh, beer taste like? Uh, it was a little older than that. But <laughs> I, I, I felt like he had, he had been, he had gone out of his way that I felt like I don't want to just drop him off, you know, at, at one of the subways or anything and, and put him on you know, cause he, I felt, I felt like I, I wanted to do more. I guess this is my way of like, even though it's not paying it forward, cause it was paying it back. So I was like, well, where do you want me to drop you off? I'll drop you off anywhere. And he needed to go to Hollywood, like on Melrose. So I drive him all the way and we're talking wow. the entire time. And I'm driving in this U-Haul on Melrose. And he's like, you can drop me off there in the corner. So I pull over in the corner and right as I'm pulling over, I hit the fender of a BMW oh, no. and completely pull it all the way off. Oh. And, it's, and afterwards I was like, well, by the way, everyone immediately, everyone takes out their phone and starts yep. filming. Of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah. of course. Yeah. I'm that guy all of a sudden, all of a sudden, but uh, luckily my insurance took care of it. I'm, although I'm not sure you know, the rates are going to go up, but you know, I, afterwards I was like, ah, oh, I could have like paid for an Uber to take him anywhere. I could have paid him extra. I, you know, I was actually yep. already paying him extra, but I could have said, look, mm -hmm. Here's more money and you can find your own way home. But I didn't have to take to go that extra step. And in doing so, kind of messed up myself. And as soon as I hit the car, he got out of the U-Haul and just booked it. No. Like, <laughs> was like, oh. like, oh, let me help you out. Like, he really he was, taught he was, him something about being older. He was playing the long game for insurance yeah. fraud. He owned <laughs> that BMW. <laughs> Pull up right here. I like the idea that you had to you had to pay for the bumper and the oh. him shaped hole in the door of your car. Well, uh, it was a U-Haul, so there was nothing on the U-Haul. Oh, like the U-Haul okay. was fine. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And luckily it just pulled off the fender. There was no actual like not even damage to the light, uh, to the it headlight. Just popped at it off. Just I just popped it off. Yeah. I think that is so telling of that part of Hollywood that everybody immediately gets their phones out and they're like, oh, well, we got to protect that poor BMW driver. Yeah. <laughs> he, may not, he may not be covered for this. That jogged a, uh, a similar, um, I guess mine, it would technically have been pay it forward that I hadn't even, I haven't thought about in a long time because it was now, um, geez, like almost 20 years ago, but, uh, shortly after I had the, the first winter after I had gotten out of the army. So this would have been in the winter of um, like 2005. Uh, I'm in Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's uh, late at night on a random night. It is a insane blizzard out. Um, and I was driving through downtown Kalamazoo, which isn't a huge downtown, but no other cars on the road because it's that bad of a blizzard. And there is this lone man uh, like fighting the wind in the blizzard. And I can I see him like trudging. It's a good foot of snow. And he's like just distraught. And I hear him just sheepishly saying, help, help me. And I pull up and tell him to get in. And I'm like, he's just so thankful that I actually stop and let him in and I'm like, where do you need to go? Uh, I, I can take you there. There's a shelter literally like two blocks behind us. There is a, uh, a homeless shelter. And I was like, I can, cause it, I'm, I'm putting two and two together. It seems like he's probably unhoused, but um, I didn't want to just, you know, totally assume that. So I offer like there is a shelter right there that's open, but he's like, no, I'm I need I'm trying to get to my sister's house. She's off of Kilgore Road, which we don't need to explain Kalamazoo geography. It's it's a few miles <laughs> no, away. We, we all know. It. Yeah, we yeah, know. I know. Right. Oh, we know. That's so, very well known. I drive yeah. him the few miles in this blizzard, so it took a good like 30, 45 minutes to do it. And I park at this apartment. Uh, he gets out, goes up to the door. I. Thankfully, I decide I'm like, I'm going to wait to make sure he gets inside. I see him like knock on the door. No response. He goes over to the window, the sliding glass door and knocks. And you see this figure come to the door, peek through the glass and then just go and flip him off. 
<laughs> and I'm like, what? Oh, fuck. This guy's sister fucking hates him. <laughs> and I, I wave him. I wave him to come back to the car. So he comes back, gets in the car and he's like, he's, he's apologetic. And I'm like, I no, that sucks, man. But okay. Do you, where now and he's like can we just go back to that shelter i'll just see if i can spend the night there okay cool we, that could have saved us a lot of time but <laughs> yeah, we're in this now so drive back the several miles to the shelter i let him out and again i'm like i'm gonna wait make sure he gets in he gets into the um like <laughs> that fo foyer area because it's like a bank of double doors a blank space and then more double doors before you're actually in yeah, yeah. the, the like lobby area. The anti room. And he, basically. Goes, yeah. he goes up to the, to the glass, to the second bank of double doors. The person at the, and he's pounding is like, let me in. The person comes to the desk, comes to the door and goes uh -huh, and flips them off. <laughs> and I, I fuck. And I lose. And I'm like, I'm not, fuck you. No, like you don't say no to people. And I, yeah. I, and he comes cause he just like, hangs his head and just like slumps back toward the car. And I'm like, fuck no, you're getting in here. And I go pound on the door and the guy comes up and he's, he opens the door for me and he's like, look, I know you were just trying to do the right thing, but we, we, this, this guy is one of the few people we've had to ban from this shelter. He is very <laughs> violent. He's oh, belligerent God. all the time. He's caused been in the car with him for the last half he, hour. He has <laughs> caused many problems. And I was like, I just drove him all over the city in this blizzard for like an hour and a half. I'm fine. Like Jesus Christ, man, just let him stay in the fucking foyer area. Yeah. Super. Uh, Hey God, God, God. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Hey, hi. Uh, it's, 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 it's your faithful <laughs> servant, Josiah. Um, uh, we have an issue up front at the gates. Uh, Satan is trying to get back in again. And it, he's being a real handful. He's trying to get in the gates. He's flipping us off. Can you just talk to him, please? Oh, God's going to talk to you because his hype men, her hype men, excuse me, sorry, ma'am, her, her no, hype men right. are going to hype her up to tell you what you're going to do with Satan flipping him off. What's you going to do? Oh, are you going to sing a, a, a song about what I'm going to do? Cause yeah, I was I, passing I it off to the other, to the other hype man. Oh, to the other hype people. man. Okay, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Yo, it's me, St. Peter, and I'm here to say that God's gonna step to Satan and it's gonna happen today. St. Peter's here not letting you in because man, Satan, you're full of sin. Oh, okay. I feel that, ready. Great, because he is like hitting the golden gates with just like different angels. He is Let's just go over to the sliding glass door and see what's happening over here. I'll let you handle it, I'm All sorry. Right. No, 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 I'm glad you're here. I want to hear the story. He shows up every day. Did you try flipping him off or flipping him off back? I, I see didn't, if he went away. I didn't think that was allowed. Like he's just God. If you could just just talk you to Satan, please. He, he keeps All doing right, it. All right, fine. All right, let me just open this door here. Satan. Yeah, finally, it's about fucking time. What do you want? Uh, I you want know, back in. Band from in here. So no, uh, no, no. I thought about I thought about what I did. And uh, I changed my mind. I'm uh, I'm I'm good with the whole thing you got going on here. Uh, you're the supreme leader of everything, and like I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna sleep here, and like you Satan. do what you do, and I'll just I'll listen this time, okay? I'm just gonna listen. All right. The last time you were here, you were very violent with Saint Peter and my other hype man. That little twerp. Yeah. You remember that? I'm Saint Peter. You punched me in the face. Kicked my ass I'm gonna punch all you in the over face right place. now. Oh, he has oh, Nick Grimes about it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Sam, 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 I got this. Sam, step back. God. He bit, he bit my halo. Hi. Hello. Uh, it, it's Kevin from North Hollywood. Uh, but I Kevin. assume you know yeah, I that. Remember. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, I've, I've been driving Sam Iel. Lucifer, <laughs> however, just call him Satan. The the bub, he's got a lot of names. So many names. I collect I them. I just want to say, I was an Uber driver up here, and 
Kevin, you know, it, I know you are trying so hard to do the just, right let thing. Kevin really speak. Nice. Let Kevin Guys. speak his truth. This is what you do. You talk over everyone, God. I'm let sorry. Kevin speak for oh, once. Fine, Kevin, go he was ahead. Asked, like, like he was asking me a lot of questions about my own personal experience, which, mm -hmm. you know, I personally thought was nice because, you know, not a lot of people ask for the wisdom of me, a guy pushing 40 living in an apartment cut to that moment so uh you have uh like uh, cats or anything you know uh any kind of familiars pets i don't know what you call uh, those things a, a, but two, what do you got two, two cats actually two. Uh, wow there's uh they're both main coons i've got an orange one and a black one um, they're and they're just you know they're just little bundles of joy i love them wow uh do you uh you you don't eat them uh, no, well, sometimes, sometimes the older one who trusts me a little bit more, yeah. sometimes I pick him up and I cradle him like a baby and I say, oh, I'm going to eat your belly. I'm going to eat your belly. But I don't actually eat his belly. His belly. You don't actually eat his Wow. This is fascinating. Humans are so weird. I cut back. Kevin, look, I, I, I know your whole life. I created you. I've seen, I know you're trying to do the right thing, but this guy is bad. He's literally okay, Satan. I Hold I on, I gotta what? jump in here. I gotta <laughs> jump in here and defend Kevin here real quick because you, 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 you say you created him, and that means you know everything about him. But have you followed Kevin's life? Do you do you know that Kevin collects pottery? Of course I do. Oh really? Oh yeah, really? And I know what's he the, has what's two the latest piece he collected? An orange one and a black one. Oh. I created them too, and I created pottery. I created, you know what, I'm being a lot nicer here than I have to be, considering I can just destroy all of you and smite you at my Not me. Not we me. cut all the way back to the invention of pottery. <laughs> anyway, so explain what I'm doing here now. I'm, I got I got a lot of clay and my hands are wet. I'm still uh, at... And, and, and the soup is work, so hot in my hands. Just, guys, just try to uh, put your thumbs in it and see yep. if you can, like, okay. I don't know, make a vessel or something. You I, can't do it. You can't I, do it. I know see, you're going to... Get I, out I, of here. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a voice. Yeah, right he's now. He's telling me I can't do it, and I believe him. That's That's right. Whatever you do, yourself, just do it quickly. Believe, believe you can't do it. Does somebody need a hype man? Uh, sure, God. I mean, I can, I can put this human clay in the kiln, but... I mean, do you want to give another go at it? I mean, one of them has like a thing sticking out at the bottom. The other one doesn't. It's just, no, it's an it's incongruity fine. issue. No, it's fine. Just put them in and I'll bring them one's to life. One's thicker we'll than do, the other. What's the worst thing that could happen? Well, I mean, one's thicker than the other. So the first one I got to take out like like I 10 like, minutes earlier. I like it. I like the incongruity. I like the poking out bits. I think it looks good. I've just invented art and uh, I like the way these look. I think they look compatible. Wait, so you're saying you like the thicker one more? No. <laughs> I'm saying I like them equally. <laughs> Although you're right. You know what? I'm going to leave it at is what what terrible thing could happen if I make one much stronger than the other one? Mm, I think it'll be all right. Just put them in the oven. Which one do you think stronger, God? Cut back. And I'm the bad guy in this situation. What the fuck? I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? You're supposed to know everything. You make a very big deal out of how you know everything. Okay, God. So, like, I took it out of the kiln and, like, out of oh, this baker's that. dozen, out of this baker's dozen, one of them's, like, the thing on the bottom's longer, the other one's shorter, the uh, one's more round, the other one's, like, a square. Do you have a preference? Uh, hey, hold on, round. God. It's me, St. It's me, St. Peter. Um, hey, I gotta be honest here. with you. Hi. Uh, normally, I know I'm supposed to be hyping you up, but he did that. He he was in there and he was adding a little clay here and adding hey, a little hey. clay there. Hey. He said, Would you like to tinkering. explain yourself? What, <coughs> look, you're supposed to be my. That's a liar's cough right there. That's you a liar. You don't need to explain yourself. You just do whatever you want. Make yourself happy. We got the results back, and that is indeed a liar's cough. Oh, no. Oh, Unfortunately, no. what you did when you came in here is that you told us that you were sick, which means you're lying. But you have a liar's cough, which means you're telling the truth. But that means that you're lying, which means Wait. that you're telling. The what oh, I'm saying on. is what that I you've should... broken space time. So what I should do is I should I should put the hen 
in the boat first, and and then so if, if I should you, row it across if, and leave the fox with the corn. Exactly, exactly. I'm glad you saw that highlights about that. Okay, God, enough about the other ones. This one has a beaver's tail and a duck bill, and it lays eggs, but it's a mammal. Are we sure it we're good with good. this? It looks good. Just keep them coming through. It's okay. fine. My name this... is Jim. Yeah, good job on that one. Oh, Jim. He's got a name. He named himself. That's my name. Hello, Jim. I'm God, your creator. What? I am a dev a monstrosity. Perfect. I'll put you in a river. Oh, God. And kids, that's why platypuses are all horribly depressed. Crikey. I thought they were just angry because they got those bobs on the back of their bills. Welcome to Australia, home of all of God's mistakes. Please come in <laughs> next to that snake that is so poisonous it can burn through a wall. Uh, here, this... Oh, I think uh, you mean Venus. Oh, sorry, Stuart. Th thank you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, we have a... Ooh, here we have an animal that takes its young and crams it into a hole in its own belly. Excuse yes, me, I know. sir. Are these, are, yeah. they, are these cute little animals, uh, the koalas, are they all riddled with chlamydia? And they're <laughs> drunk at the same time. Ooh. That's right. Look, Mom, Dad, I'm a 28-year-old kangaroo. It's time for me to get out of the pouch. Please, just let me go. I don't need to be in the pouch of love anymore. You will wow. stay in your mother's pouch. You will stay there. Uh, oh. Come in, come there's in. A, there's, a, there's a knock at my vagina. I, <laughs> sorry. I, I'm, I'm a kangaroo named David, and this is my wife, kangaroo named Annie. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi, uh, we we decided we, we came into this pouch because we heard you've got a little roo you're trying to get rid of, and we kind of would like to take it on our own. I'm a grown kangaroo. I have a boxing career. Yeah, he's no longer a Joey. He, and honestly, he's just trying to give himself up at this point. We've tried to hold yeah. on to him. He wants to to run free. So, uh, God, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, all, honey? All I have in life is being a father to this little Joey. And I'm not giving up. I don't care how old he is. I don't care how many humans he's beaten up for sports. He's staying in your pouch. Well, wow. your mother has spoken. Okay. I, I guess we keep looking elsewhere, honey. I guess so. Let me climb out of this vagina. Yeah, let me get out of this one. <laughs> it was nice, by the way. You have a, you have a nice vagina there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, hello and welcome to Veterinary Family Court with uh, your host, Judge Joe Brown. And of course, my bailiff, Bay. I'll, I'll rise if you hadn't already. Oh man, every time you nail that. Thank you. Uh, so uh, we have an emancipation case. We don't usually get those. Uh, you're looking to show that you are able to be emancipated from your mother's pouch. Uh, I'm Joey. How you doing? Uh, oh, uh, this is our. Uh, Mutsy TV crossover? Um, he's I'm, he's that, putting uh, on a fake voice to sound yeah. older. I'm, I'm sorry, Judge. I like I, sandwiches. Hey. Um, excuse excuse me. <laughs> Everybody. All right. Sit sit back down. If, and how, please, if you, you could step out of your mother's vagina for the remainder of the proceedings. Thank right, you. How are you doing? Is there anyone else in your vagina, ma'am? No, we're good. All right. Uh, well... It looks like uh, we have uh, the two plaintiffs who would like to be emancipated from their mother's pouch, uh, which is also a vagina. Um, let's see, I'm a veterinary judge, and I learn these things every day. Uh, and um, yes, and the parents, would you do you have anything to say uh, against their plea? I, I, I just, uh, I love him so much, and I don't want him to leave. I mean, granted, I'm not the one with the vagina that he's living in, so it's probably easier for me to say he should stick around, but uh, I just love him so much. Uh, I'll miss him terribly if he moves on with his life. I think he should stay until we're dead. He's just not ready. All he does out in the world is beat up people for sport. He doesn't know how to love, and he needs to stay in his mother's vagina until he learns that. Are that, uh, do we have any other evidence we need to take a look at? Yeah, anybody, uh, anybody got any receipts? <laughs> I will render my decision. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, uh, so 
We, uh, the court has determined that there is real and actual love from the parents to these two children. Not something we do very often here. Told you. Um, but we also feel that this love deserves to be shared with some other deserving person. So uh, it is the uh, opinion of this court that uh, these two will be listed on a local buy no one group uh, for which they can then be <laughs> picked up and taken by someone else in the community. Uh, hey, Roland, that, that's an awesome story, dude. But uh, if you just want to let me out right here, I, I am more than happy to go. <laughs> no, I, I got like another half a story more to tell you. <laughs> I, I haven't even, I only got to like halfway through it. I There's still so okay. much more. Just, um, wh why? If, do you want to unlock the doors at any point? Like, I mean, no, 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 no. I think, in fact, let me get on the freeway. And on being held captive, we will now release our audience from this episode. Uh, Michael Hyman, why don't you bring it you, home? You write all the marketing copy, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, as always, to Matt Walker for our intro and outro music. This episode was hosted and edited by Jack Kaufman, co-edited and produced by Christian Heffley, and co-hosted by Michael Hyman. With additional editing work by Chris Sanders. Every scene you heard today was improvised on the spot, along with some of the ads, with only a light touch of editing for your comfort. If you're loving what we're doing, pause real quick and write a five-star review before you close the app, and tell a friend about us. Tonight's regular cast included Josh Spence, Stephen C. James, Chris Sanders, Chris Compton, Jen Burton, and our very special guests, Roland Lopez and Chris Thompson. Yo, yo. Uh, gents, do you have anything you want to uh, share about what's going on in your lives for, for the people at home? I feel like that's what the episode was about. Do you want to <laughs> plug anything so that they can uh, ah. patronize you in some way? Because uh, they loved your story so much. Perhaps talk down to you. Everything I do is secret. <laughs> there you go. And Roland? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure my uh, my insurance rates are going to go up. So if anybody wants to help out with that a little bit. <laughs> no, it's your GoFundMe. I'll, I'll leave my Post Venmo. Post your yeah. Venmo in the, in the you. show notes. Yeah. Great. Thanks, thank you uh, for having me. This is great. Uh, is always one. happy to have you here. Thank you all. I hear sarcasm when I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Super Legit Podcast. Thanks, everyone, for joining me one more time. And we'll see you on the next one. Jet? Jet? Yes. Yes. What's up, Josh? Can I crawl back into your thick pouch now? Mm. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. You, you chose the right set of words, and yet they're still very, very wrong. Yes, Josh. We can shut up right now. <laughs> How you doing? I don't believe. Just so I can move on Oh, 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 oh. By the way, out of all of our stories, I think Sanders was the only one that was actually paying it for yeah. it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. the only one out of the goodness of someone's heart. I would like to point out that every single person dishonored the film that made Haley Joel Osment the star he is today. Pay it forward. Uh, uh, and, uh, and all of his cast members, none of whom are terrible. Paying it forward and you do something nice with no expectation of any result or anything. So you're just like doing a nice thing and then walking away from that. Uh, I know because I saw that movie unfortunately twice and the first time i saw it i thought wow i hate this movie <laughs> and then is is kevin spacey in that yeah one? Oh, oh yeah he is, he is. Okay, yeah. oh yeah oh boy yeah. and helen hunt, yeah, helen hunt. Helen hunt. Yes. kevin spacey I, helen hunt Haley jay Joel moore Osmond. uh jay moore Bale? yep and oh yeah he was and uh oh, the chekhov's switchblade uh is also the star <laughs> of that movie at one point the bully kid slides a knife through a metal detector early in the movie and you're like well now i know how this is gonna end yeah <laughs> and that david rosenbaum guy edited it yeesh oh uh, well we can see the glow of imdb in your eyes 
<laughs> Which is the first line of the love poem that I wrote to Josh. 